Lenny just wants to pull the safety thing. So we have, uh, have to go on When friends come to visit. That's going to be impossible. Snooker by the Chesapeake once again. I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Good morning, guys. Riley's just running our last load of rubbish to the bin. We're filling up the water tank. Riley and I had our last hot showers this morning. We washed our hair, washed Lenny's hair. Don't you go near that. No, come here. And uh, yeah, we're heading off. We're about to go and sail the Chesapeake Bay. And then when the weather is perfect, we have to time it perfectly. We're going to round Cape Hatteras, an area that's notorious for its bad weather, and head down to Charleston. Lenny, you can't go near the water hole because once it gets full, it's going to spray everywhere. <coughs> no, you stay here. You already had a shower. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, feel like we've really seen Annapolis now, so it's been amazing though. Put that on your list. Tell me about your book. That's Ian McEwan's Machines Like Me. It's just beautifully written. What's it about? Did you see then? I go, it's just beautifully written. My friends back home have been on my case because I'm like uh, finishing sentences with my eyes closed. So I'm like, oh, it's beautifully written, and they're like, stop doing that, you're an idiot. When Riley's got something to say that has a lot of thought put into it, he closes his eyes for like 10 seconds. No, well, they're calling me smug. Smug? <laughs> yeah, they're just like, you're just a smug wanker. I don't think it's intentional. But exactly. You really need your eyes closed to pull the right so words you're, out. You're calling it thought processing. Yeah, I'm not saying it's like cool. <laughs> so I'm equipped with an inadequate CPU and I need to close off one of my sensors to allow the others to do their job. We've got no wind this morning, which is going to be so nice to leave this dock. We're just sitting here at the moment. Riley's just taking the forward line off and now the back one, I guess. I should probably get to the helm. Ow, Lenny, turn on set. All right, jump one. What a beautiful morning. Check out the new cup I found. Isn't it the coolest? About to make a hot chocolate in my new cool cup. <laughs> Come on then, are you stuck in mum's pants? Riley, do you want a coffee or a tea or something? happened when friends come to visit <laughs> yeah that's gonna be impossible so it's David it's got you're the in entire trouble. weight of the tender and it's cross threaded I can't lift the tender up any higher I could get a halyard back here but easier would be to tie a line to this and go to the electric winch but this is even tying a rolling hitch to something that tight mm. isn't easy And we're all good. Good stuff, Captain. Wee 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 wee. That was actually way easier than I thought. Wee 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 wee.
What's going on here? Lanny's a bit grumpy. It's 11 o'clock, I'm just putting him down for right a nap. He's not going to like this, is he? Nap time, Bubba. <coughs> stay here. Good luck, Lenny. I'm sorry, Bubba. <coughs> You're a monster. Every time. How could you do that? <laughs> Good morning, my friends. I feel like I can finally talk to you now. It's been a really busy morning getting out of our little anchorage. We just spent the night there and now we're heading off to a place that we heard was really beautiful. Had a shower this morning, Riley hoisted the sails and now, yeah, we're on our way. So yeah, stick around if you guys want to see the Chesapeake Bay and subscribe if you're new here. How are you today, my love? Good. I want you to look chill AF. Look off into the distance, shake that mullet around. Riley <laughs> says looks like I have a mullet when I tuck my hair behind my ears. You do? Cringe. Maybe I should get a mullet. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. I think you'd suit it. Yeah. <laughs> I I've I'll had one before. Oh, I'm gonna hit that. We were just tacking up this channel, but now we've lost all wind. We're kind of just drifting. Damn it. Snookered by the Chesapeake once again. There's a bit of wind, babe. The wind is generally coming from there, but there's a river there. It'll drop back and then go forwards and then drop back again. And there's also dead patches in the water. And I'm trying to tuck up a channel. from pulling up anchor like that is horrible from here there she goes it's a good spot yeah but his body was never we did it I didn't think we were going to get there. We just got around that green marker. Pump though, that's awesome. Hopefully the anchor's dug because we haven't reversed on it, but there's no wind coming tonight, so everything should be fine. Beautiful place here. This is uh, very picturesque. It reminds me of what I think Canada would look like. What do you think, Elena? Canadian. Canadian, Now for the fun job. Everywhere. Yeah, but it comes off quite nicely. Remember on the old boat, I didn't have a proper wax job. Anything that you dropped on it would absorb into it and leave a stain. You are forever cleaning that boat. I know, it was ridiculous. And on this one, I was like, Matthew, what about the cleaning? Where are the brushes? What are you? And he goes, just hose it off, man. Don't worry about it. So wax your boat. We're just having a bit of lunch and then we're going to take the dinghy and go for a cruise around because there's like little islands around, heaps of birds. What are you up to? Look at that sock. Something's wrong with your foot. We're going for a bird in the dinghy. We're going for a bird in the dinghy. Are you going to be brave enough to swim in the cold water? In the pines. Wants to pull the safety thing. No, Lenny. No, you can't have it. It's a bit unfair. It's been his favourite toy for a long time. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's connected to the boat and he can't have it. Sorry, Bubba. Oh, what about another toy? What about Mum's shoe? Good fun. Yeah, in the water with Mum. What about right up here? No? You still want the toy? <laughs> Pumpkin, you can't have the toy.
It is the most beautiful afternoon. There are ducks flying all through the air in their beautiful triangle shapes that they make. Lenny's like spotting all of them. It's just stunning. They say that you'll be safe if you're Something to tie a banana in his mouth. <laughs> Is that good? how much fun we had chatting to you guys the other night on Patreon. We do live broadcasts on Patreon. We had a dinner. Yay, Lola has a glass of wine too. Cheers, Lola. Hey, well done, Lola. We hope you guys have been enjoying that content right now. I know a lot of people are stuck at home in isolation. He's a little biscuit using words. No, he still growls. He, um... <laughs> <laughs> but he understands lots. It's really funny. Lenny needs an exorcist on <laughs> He does. We try to do that specifically to say thank you for our patrons. We realise there's a lot of people in the world right now that are struggling, so although we would encourage you to join up to our patron page to see the content, if you really can't afford it, what we'll do is we're going to have an email address in the description below, and if you're struggling at the moment... If you need to be uplifted and you'd like to see some extra content... You can watch me eating a meal and become uplifted. <laughs> They're probably looking at this and being like, I don't want to join in I'm for a live dinner. Yeah. I'm not going to say his name, but he was grumpy. <laughs> the lady who taught the course was amazing, <laughs> but he was just like, Arr. Please send us an email and we'll send you a link to the latest one and then some ones before if you want as well. And yeah, to all of our patrons, um, thanks for tuning in. We'll let you know when our next one is. We've been having a lot of fun. And... Come up with some more questions for us. Try and trick me over. They just hook the video down, just band it. Not even a chance to so like our videos replace go. it or like cut it out. It One, was... two, three, four, six. <laughs>
Okay, so what's happening? Um, so I got a drone. My cousin crashed it the last time I tried giving it a go. <laughs> I'm terrified, actually, but I've got insurance, so we'll just wing it. Let's go, Lenny. This is gonna be funny. Now, you don't want to let go of that till you feel like it has a bit of power. Let go. Let go. Yeah, girl. <laughs> okay, so t tell her, babe. <laughs> tell her that one is up and one moves you side to side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it home, babe. Yeah! Woo! We started returning to home. Can you override that? Yeah, we, we turned off return to home. We survived. Do not don't, flip your catamaran. Don't flip the catamaran. <laughs> don't do it, guys. I think that's pretty good advice. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Bye! Good morning, friends. Just putting on some coffees. The house is still a bit of a mess from yesterday's little meet up with our friends. Anyway, the battery's low, and I always laugh because it says battery pretty low. <laughs> you noticed that? Yeah. Don't you think that's funny? Battery's pretty low, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, I slept oh right here God. to turn off the alarm all night. Thanks for doing that. It's now like 7.30 and the sun's not even up yet. It seems like we're up really early, but we're not really. So yeah, we've been on anchor now for a few days and there's been a lot of rain and cloud cover. So usually by about the third day, that's when our battery starts to get low and we'll have to start the engine or go for a sail. We're gonna do that, but we just want a peaceful morning without the noise of that engine. Just made a couple of iced coffees and we're about to pick up the anchor and move spots. Lenny's in his cute penguin outfit that Tom Tong Zavi got him, Uncle Xavier from Ultramer. <laughs> so we're nice and warm. Yeah. Dad's just pulling up the anchor. How's it going, mate? <laughs> yeah, come up. This is rather interesting. What's happened here? It's it was not Lenny, I was downstairs dressing him. Yeah, sorry about that. What happened? I was racing around doing stuff. You ruined my iced coffee. I'm so sad. You can have mine. I'm already buzzing, I don't need There's another. One really? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Dragging. What does that mean? The chain is going along the floor and I think it's soft mud so the anchor is just dragging through the mud. Even though we're only in two metres here alone and I let out a lot of chain, I'll undo what I've just done, take the bridle off, come up on the anchor and just try out a different spot, drop it down and this time I'll make sure that I reverse down on it more and let out a little bit more chain. It just means that you yeah, get a good night's sleep. There's just no way out of here. It definitely dug. I've got about 50 metres of chain out in two metres of water. I saw the 40 metre mark go out. I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> I think I've got mud on your teeth here. Really? Likes to nobody you see. Cheers, Bucky. Cheers. I just, I haven't properly tied down the main sail after today. The weather tonight is just bizarre. The air is warm. It's night time and it's winter. We're actually on a tornado watch tonight. We've been having gusts of 30 to 35 knots of wind. The boat's just like, meow, meow. Yeah. It's from different directions. Lenny's fast asleep without a clue. How's you go? Good. Nice well and warm? All right. We can I like to again. leave that stuff until it's raining. Yeah, last minute. <laughs> Next time we sail you down to Solomon's Island, which has gone on the list of the best places we've visited in the whole of the Chesapeake. We're nearly on our last episode before we get the phone call about Greta coming on board. 
So tune in next week and enjoy the last of the USA with us. Bye!